Hello students, in today's session let us discuss about change management in ERP implementation. Let us go to the first aspect namely to understand the concept of change. We all know that change exists in all walks of life. It is said that the only permanent thing in this world is change. Now let us look at the need for managing change. This ideally deals with the significance and need for managing change in ARP implementation. Now let us have a look at the aspect of managing change during ARP implementation. In an ARP implementation scenario, an effective approach to change management ensures smooth and complete implementation of changes, long standing achievement of benefits and further we could now discuss more about managing change like change involves transitioning from the current situation to a desirable situation. That is we would like to move from the state where we are in to a state that we would like to have. Change management would focus on the implications of change and especially on how people handle those changes. Now let us look at the types of changes. There are three types of changes namely strategic change, policy change and process change. As the names indicate strategic change relates more to the strategic elements of an organization whereas we look at the policy change it more relates to the policies that are existing in that organization and process change would look at business processes and how we have changed them and how we are adapting to the change. Now moving on to the objectives of change management. Some of the key objectives of change management would include one ensuring acceptance of the change that is we need to make sure people accept the change. We need to communicate to those who are impacted by the change. Also we need to ensure readiness for adoption of the change by providing the required details, training and support. Now let us look at some of the change management activities. Some activities related to change management include 1 planning for execution of change management activities. 2. Identification of change agents who would be responsible for propagating the change. 3. Identification of the critical success factors for change. 4. Involving the right people and teams for managing change. Stakeholder assessment is the fifth one. Sixth is communication management planning. Seventh, assessment of the impact of change and addressing them. The eighth one is providing support to the people who are impacted by the change and ninth one is assessment of training needs as necessitated by the change and imparting training. We looked at nine different aspects. Now there is one more which primarily talks about tracking the progress of change management through appropriate metrics and measures. Now we have a question here, can change management efforts fail? We put in a lot of efforts for managing change, can that fail? Yes it can, so that is what we are talking about here. Change management efforts in ARP implementation in an organization may fail due to reasons such as downplaying the importance of managing change and usage of inappropriate change management approaches. Now let us look at some of the key factors for successful change management. We all want to have change management to be successful and that is why we need to focus on organizational change, the change in organizational elements, aspects etc. Then we also need to understand the significance and role of business users, process owners etc and not just the end users. 
and of course adopting the relevant change management strategies, techniques and activities. Having discussed about change management, let us look at an application of the McKinsey's 7S framework for change management. So how do we look at McKinsey's 7S framework for a change management scenario in ARP implementation? Adopting this approach would help to relate change management with reference to strategy, structure, systems, shared values, style, staff and skills. Now let us look at each of these 7s and apply this framework to change management. The first one is strategy. Let us look at a few questions relating to the strategy element. What is our change management strategy? How do we really intend to attain the change management objectives? How do we deal with the changes? What approaches, what methodologies do we have? And how do we align our business strategies to the change management strategy? Then moving on to the next aspect, that is structure. How do the different units or departments coordinate the various activities related to change management? Then we also look at how do the change agents and change management team members align themselves. Are we clear about the channels for communication, the types of communication, frequency and mode of communication? Now let's move on to the next S, namely systems. Here we would look at in terms of the controls or the measures for effective change management and how could they be tracked and assessed. We would also want to know the basic principles and processes that would be used by the change management team to ensure that they are on track in the change management project. The next S is about shared values. Here we talk about what is the organization culture, what is the team culture, what are the various organizational values that exist and how practiced in the organization are they. Moving on to the next S, that is style. Here we look at what is the leadership style that is practiced during change management. We know about different leadership styles like the autocratic style, participative leadership style, etc. So we need to understand whether the leadership style is effective. Do the employees and members of the team cooperate? Is the change management team really functioning or is it only a nominated group? Now moving on to the next S, namely staff. The question is, does the change management team have people with the required competencies? Is it required to augment the change management team? That is, we do not have adequate people and we want to strengthen it. Moving on to the next S, skills. Are there skill gaps within the change management team? Do the members of the change management team have the capability to perform the related tasks? What is the approach and methodology for monitoring and assessing the change management related skills? So we discussed about the 7 S in the McKinsey framework and applied them in the area of change management with reference to ERP implementation. So having discussed about the concept of change and also about the objectives, the need and also the approaches as well as talking about with reference to the 7S framework of McKinsey, we hope that you had a good perspective of change management and its relevance in ERP implementation. Wish you further enhancement of your learning endeavors on this topic and see you later.